talking back and forth up and down the aisle. Hallelujah. But I will always remember her quick wit. No matter what you said, she always said something to her. And I thank God just for allowing me to know her for a period of time. To introduce me to a woman of God. Amen. Amen. Had no gimmicks and no tricks. Just Jesus and Jesus all. All right, all right. I'm going to read the obituary. Hazel Moore, age 18, was born in the small town of Lewis, Georgia, on May 26, 1937. She was called to a heavenly home in the early morning of September 17, 2020, in her granddaughter's home, surrounded by her loved ones. In 1950, she graduated from Booker T. Washington High School in Atlanta, Georgia. She moved to Columbus, Ohio in 1952, where she raised her four children, one boy and three girls. She attended St. John Baptist Church since 1954. She loved her pastor and her church family. The man that married her late husband, Reverend Curtis Moore, in 1990. She enjoyed writing poetry, listening to music, and dancing. She carried a smile on her face always, as she forever had something sly and funny to say, even after her ill health. She enjoyed helping people. She worked for Life Care Alliance until she retired. Later, she traveled back to Atlanta, Georgia, to care for her mother. There she was, always on the go, selling pictures, hats, and occasionally having her four granddaughters self in the park and having her own booth in the market. She never met a stranger and was always full of life. She is preceded in death by her husband, Reverend James Moore, Mother Lila Baby, her older brother, Howard Tyler, her son, Michael Randall, and her daughter, Deborah Michelle Bradford, where they are all now rejoicing together. She is survived by her daughter, Sheila, Melvin Hatta of Columbus, Ohio, and Kimberly Towns of Douglasville, Georgia. Nine grandchildren, Michael Fitzgerald, Antoine Hatta Fitzgerald, Jamika Pat, Shante J. Martin, Aisha Marquise Green, Jamika Jadez Johnson, Stephanie Towns, and Armani Towns, all of Columbus, Ohio. 20 great grandchildren, one great great grandchild, and a host of other other relatives and Truly, it's the wisdom that rests in the Lord. Rest on, Grandma. We will see you in the morning. Amen. children. To my darling kids, you have brought me much joy. I carry each of you as a child with a toy. I might always be the best of mothers, but the love we shared was like no other. We had many struggles, but we never lost faith. You are all winners when it comes to your mother's race. How disappointed we must have been on that Christmas day when you didn't get the special toy but not a word did you say. I was a single mother, you were the apples of my eye. We had many hardships, never once did you cry. I know it was many of the times you thought I wasn't strong. There has been problems in my life that will prove you wrong. Love not. Dedicated to my only son. To Michael, my loving son, you went away and left me this very one away and left me the weak too. I know in my heart your soul is true. I'll try not to weep. I'll try not to moan. God decided it was time to go home. But but Lord, how I suffer the pain to see. Then I remember you are only a few. Wait for me, son. Take my hand. Together we will explore the promised land. Love mine. Michelle, my darling daughter. She was a beautiful human being, now she's gone. God heard her cry, she took her home. She had
had a wonderful spirit, a heart of love. She had a character, she had a soul. Her work down here was done, of course, for she did her part. To God, she will get a brand new start. We may weep for her, but now she's free. She was one of God's children, don't you see? She was not only my daughter, she was my best friend. I will be for her to the very end. Goodbye, my darling God. You was one of the best. Sleep on, sleep on. Get your rest. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, who came home from church and she was around the kitchen. So she went to her little brother and said, Who is Andy? I just said, It's another funeral. And she went to her father and said, Who is Andy? And the father replied, He better not be in my house. Right. And then she went to her sister and said, Who is Andy? And so the little girl went in the kitchen and started going through the cabinets and looking for Andy. Kept picking and, where is Andy? Who is Andy? And so the family all got together and found her in her room and said, what is wrong with you? What got into you? Who is Andy? She said, didn't you go to church this morning? The pastor take care of you. Regardless of what you go to, God has his arms around you. I have his loving and protection. And I remember one time we was at my house and I was cooking and, and uh, I would always make her dressing and uh, this different things but then I knew she could eat and so she was sitting at the table and when we get together we just goofy. We just have fun with this family. This family is a loving family. And we get there and I gave her something by mistake. She said you done messed up everything. So I, but it just a it is amazing to me, even with her state of her dementia, she knew her family. She knew their voices. And it was, I'm not even her family, but she knew who I was because I've been around her since I was a little boy. She knew who I was. So she may not know who everybody was, but when she heard certain voices, she recognized and she responded. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, mother in law, and the family. If I can get through, it's hard now. Right. I got some of my crew members here, but 
was here, but that's okay. What I was gonna do, I'm saying. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
it started back in in the beginning when God said, "From dust you came, and dust you shall return." Amen. The old wise man Solomon said, "There's a time to live and a time to die." And yet he asked the question, "If." If a man died, well, the Apostle Paul said it was one appointed for a man to die and after death. Is your experience? But he asked the question: If a man died, shall he live again? And the Bible says that Paul said. The wages of sin yeah. is death. Yeah. But he said, if. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll stop by to remind you, church, that there is no if about this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's not a cave as a gift, but it's a cave as a queen. That's right, that's right. Amen. Yeah. When we all are gonna have to leave here yeah. and go the same way. Yeah. Amen. 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 So you wanna know why why would he ask? You have you noticed that sometimes when people are sick, mm -hmm. do you know sometimes they sit there that they probably wouldn't say if they wouldn't sit? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, sometimes when folks sick, they may do things. That they may not do if they was not yeah. sick. Yeah. So being sick, he didn't ask the question. Now, why am I home sick when it's here? Should we remind up the death of your sick day? Four. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Sick day for all of us. And that one thing that I have found out about sickness is that there are people who will be with you when you wake and leave you when you get sick. Amen? Amen. Amen. There are people that will be with you when you up and leave you when you are down. But I want to thank this children and grandchildren for sticking by their mother and grandchildren. I come by to say, God got a blessing for you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm not talking about what I heard, I'm talking about what I know. They stuck by their mother and grandmother. Yeah. They need some. Uh, so somebody need to congratulate them here because folk will leave. Hey Amen. He, he was sick. Yeah. Question. And that question went unanswered until Jesus came into earth. Amen. And he answered Job's question. One Friday, I'm on a hill that is called Calvary. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. They took Jesus. They hung him high. Yeah. Stretched him wide. Yeah. And he died, children. Yeah. He died. Uh -huh. And they buried him. He stayed there for three long days. And early, early, Sunday morning, he got up out of the grave. And he answered so quick. And the record is, if a man died, shall he live with me? And Jesus said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I live, you shall live. So one day in 
in the great getting up morning. So the word I get up. Pull off the old dying clothes. Thank God alright. Thank God alright. And I'm gonna sing a joy. The heavenly choir singing, singing in my but she got singing in the heavenly choir. Okay? Paul Bears, if you could please come. 